are you? This is Jeff Barnes once again coming to you with another episode of Inside the Film Room. This week, we're going to go into the Carolina Panthers. And one of the biggest additions to this team has been the addition of Teddy Bridgewater. Uh, when Matt Rule came in and he decided that he wanted a veteran quarterback, he went with none other than Teddy Bridgewater. And there's a reason why they paid him the money they paid him. Teddy Bridgewater still has a lot of room for growth as a quarterback. Uh, we know at his time filling in for Drew Brees that they went undefeated. So um, it wasn't really flashy. He did have a, his good moments. He did have his conservative moments. But overall, he brings in a steady hand, a very talented player, and a very intelligent player who's grown over his time in the, in the National Football League. Bringing that into the situation in Carolina with a lot of young talent around him, he's just going to need to get even better, and he's going to make those guys better. When you look at this last uh, stretch of games where he hasn't had his best player in Christian McCaffrey, the offense continues to move the football, and he continues to find ways to get them uh, on the scoreboard. Now, granted, this last game against Chicago, they didn't find their end zone enough to win the game, he kept them in the game and kept them in position to have a chance to win at the end. So we're going to go through a couple of plays with him leading this offense. And uh, one of those moments where a couple of moments where we get a good chance to see what Teddy Bridgewater has brought to the table. So here we are in the first quarter. They're trailing by seven points. All right, Bridgewater right now. Here's what we talk about that cool hand as a quarterback, brings the motion over, surveys the defense, sees that they're flipping a the corner with the receiver. So it looks more like man coverage for, to him, but watch the rest of the coverage. Safety settling in deep over the top. This safety sitting over top here, linebacker shifting. So what he's getting is, okay, although this corner may be flipping, they still are in zone as far as he's concerned. Um, but what you're going to see is plain and simple. They're going to give a lot of cushion and give up a lot underneath. And he's going to use this perfectly. They're going to run him up the seam and they're going to run him on the under. And this is just a simple route combination. A lot of teams around Indianapolis ran this a lot when Peyton Manning was their quarterback. This is a basic uh, combination that you're going to see a lot of uh, at any level, more or less at the NFL level. And it's just a case of Teddy Bridgewater noticing, okay, they're not blitzing. I'm not going to get heavy pressure. I'm going to have time to set in the pocket. I'm going to wait for this route to clear, and I'm going to throw the football. So, and that's exactly what he does. All right, Bridgewater's going to see. He's going to let the coverage settle. Gets his eyes on the safeties, split safeties. Watch the corner back off. Soft coverage on the slot. Corner backs off. Okay, he's still looking. All right, so he's watching and waiting. He gets what he wants, then he dials it in. All right, and what you're going to see is right here, Bridgewater's looking. He's looking right at him the whole time. Waits for the under to clear, and look at all the room inside. Puts it right on him, gives him room to run after the catch, hits him in the stride. And this is a great job of running after the catch and getting a first down. This is a long situation with double sticks, and he gets the ball on him quickly and allows him to run in space and gain yards for the first down here. And once again, we're gonna go back to the other angle on this so you can see Bridgewater's eyes pre-snap where you get, to, you get a good chance to see how he's working the line of scrimmage. Look at his eyes, watching the coverage, watching everything flip. Okay, waiting for the safeties to set before he even starts to get into his cadence. This is, the, this is something a veteran quarterback does. Like most rookie quarterbacks, most young quarterbacks that are still trying to gain experience will see the first set of shifts. They'll see the safety set. They'll guess that's where they're going to be, and they get into their cadence and start going. He's going to do it nice and slow and let those late shifts come in and find his man. All right. Calm feet in the pocket. Delivers a very good ball here. Now, most people say this is under 10 yards. This is what you expect of them. You know, we want to see them press down the field. Well, we'll take a look at that as well. All right, so you talk about throwing the football deep. Here's the case we talk about getting the matchups you want. 
the Carolina Panthers went and got Robbie Anderson because of his speed to get vertical. You have a quarterback now that can put that ball vertically. So what you're going to do with Teddy Bridgewater is allow him to use that and allow him to use those weapons. Robbie Anderson is not a dynamic wide receiver, but he does bring big playability, something that Carolina has desperately needed. All right. So what they don't have right now is that go-to guy that you're going to count on on a third down and get you those first downs and find those plays on these that are going to break big for you. But Robbie Anderson will take the top off the defense. So you're going to see that on this play here. So Ridgewater, slow this down. Once again, seeing that he has now one high safety. So he's going to treat this like man coverage safety. He's going to bail late. But yet, once again, trust his eyes. All right. So here he goes, sets up in the pocket, sees where his man is vertically. He's got a step. All right. Knows once you get Robbie Anderson with a step over the top, hit him right in the seam. All right. And there it is. All right. He lays out for it, but that's a perfect throw. All right. Safety coming over the top of Anderson. He puts it right where only Anderson can get it. That is a veteran throw. And that is the kind of stuff you expect out of Teddy Bridgewater. All right. You want to see him make these throws once again. And we're going to talk about the coverage once again. All right. So once again, he's going to get over the top. Bridgewater sees it. And he puts it right in the hole. All right. And safety's watching the whole time. So it's not like he's catch. He looked the safety off. Safety sees his eyes. And he still puts it in a perfect spot where only Robbie Anderson can get it. This is either going to be complete or incomplete. There is no interception on this throw. So we're going to go later in the game once again. And uh, here it is. So this is a crucial point of the game here in the fourth quarter. And this is a situation where we talk about you want your veteran quarterback to be able to make plays for you late in the fourth. And that's what Bridgewater is going to do here. He's going to give his receiver a chance to make a play on a deep ball. When he is open, he has, he has to put it over the top because there's trail coverage underneath. So this is underthrown. The defender has a chance. So he has to lead him down the field, but it has to be in a position where the receiver can get to it. And DJ Moore is going to get his hands on it. Just couldn't complete the process of making the catch going to the ground. Uh, which is unfortunate because this would have been a great play. It would have been a great clutch throw and catch by these two young guys that are really coming together. But what you're going to see here is here is DJ Moore. Okay. And here's Robbie Anderson. So they're looking to spy Anderson because they know oh, he's the guy that's going to get us over the top. But what they do is they forget about DJ Moore, who's going to break to the corner. All right. And what you're going to see is Bridgewater is going to see that empty backfield. All right, they got the diamond formation here. One receiver opposite side, just the back cannon. And what you're going to see here is plain and simple. Teddy Bridgewater is going to see it and say, okay, here it is. I'm going to put it where only you can get it. Once again, I'm not going to risk this throw um, for safety. And it's just unfortunately he can't come down with it. But once again, the execution of the play overall, you have to really, really admire how these guys are coming together with this um so let's get to it all right so there's more getting vertical all right bridgewater sees it throws it now once again trail position so if this is shallow he has a chance to, so he has to put it over the top so with him doing that more now the one bad thing you can say about this is more has to turn back this way instead of coming to the sideline but nevertheless, Moore gets his hands on it, is able to pull it in, but can't finish the catch. And unfortunately, it is fourth down, so this winds up being a turnover and downs. But it's an excellent job of spotting the man, open man, throwing the ball where he could get to it. They just couldn't finish the play. I'm going to show it to you from the other angle. And once again, right, so here's DJ Moore once again. He sees it. He recognizes right away that he's in trail position and puts it up. And once again, you're going to see him turn backwards because he does put it to the inside, but gets his hand on it, but it couldn't finish the grab. 
And with that right there is just unfortunately that they couldn't finish it, but it's an excellent read, an excellent play that they just didn't finish in order to make it count. All right, so you're seeing Bridgewater able to throw the football down the field effectively. You see them make the reads and throw underneath. But you also see Teddy Bridgewater make some plays um, for the Panthers where with his legs when they need him to. And here's one of those situations. So they have third down and goal inside the 10. Bridgewater's going to look. He's got man coverage across the board. All right. And they just don't separate. There's no separation. There's nowhere for him to go with this football. So Teddy Bridgewater is going to run. It is not the most dynamic runner, but he has he's he has the ability to escape and make plays with his legs. He won't score on this, but what he does is he avoids one taking a sack, knocking him, making this a harder field goal. He avoids turning the football over by forcing it into coverage, and most importantly, he gives them a chance by running with his legs of possibly getting into the end zone. So here we are right now. So once again, he's going to see the coverage. He's going to bring Robbie Anderson in tight to the formation. And then watch everything set up. So Robbie Anderson's going to run a sit. You're going to get an in route here from the tight end. And what you're going to get is the back coming out wide. All right. So what they were trying to get is the back free. But the Bears do a great job of picking everything up. All right, so with that being said, what you're going to see is Teddy Bridgewater is going to realize that I've got nothing. Everything's going to be covered, and he's just going to try and make a play and see if he can try and get in there himself as opposed to waiting and taking a sack or forcing the ball in. And as you're going to see, here goes the back out, free release. They do a great job of picking up the protection, but nobody's open. There's a bear on every receiver, and all he can do is just tuck it and try and make a play. And there's just too many. The Bears did a great job of playing defense on this play. Once again, Teddy's just going to say, I'm going to get what I can get. And he doesn't take a big hit, too. Take, make a miss and take get to the ground when he can. Doesn't try to run people over. Doesn't try and juke six guys. Just says, you know what, I'm going to get what I can get. And let's get off the field and make a play. Um, and veteran kind of play okay now there were a couple of interceptions in this game for teddy but when you look at the plays overall you can pick out a couple of negative plays but most of his plays are positive and this is what you want to see from a veteran quarterback this is one reason why the panthers i believe are ahead of schedule when it comes to rebuilding this things this thing in the way that matt rule wants it to be teddy bridgewater is going to bring a lot to the table for this franchise over the length of his contract and beyond because I believe he will probably, if he keeps this up, he will be resigned once he gets to the end of this deal. So um, McCaffrey's got coming back soon from injury. Uh, these young receivers are getting better and I see better things coming for the Carolina Panthers. All right. So once again, this has been Inside the Film Room with Jeff Barnes. Uh, once again, I hope you enjoyed it. More to come. We'll have another video next week. Take care.